why are you filming our business? I'm working on something. What? I don't want to get into it. Uh, I'm going to have to ask you before I call my security. You have to ask me what? What are you working on? I don't like to be filmed. Why'd you walk out here and talk to a camera? You need to leave. If, if you don't like to be filmed, why'd you walk out to a camera? You need to leave. I'm working. Then go back in there and work. Go back in there and work. Tell you one thing, if something was happening, that'd be the slowest response to security I've not seen in a while. Is the security at home sleeping? Let's go. I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, I'm pretty sure you just didn't uh, spark a taser and try to intimidate me with it. He comes out and he uh, tells me that I, I need to leave and he doesn't want me recording him. And I said, man, if you didn't want to be recorded, you probably shouldn't have came out and walked up to me. Um. Uh, he was over at the Wells Fargo recording the building for no reason. Okay. So, um, so is you... Okay, so is you... Yeah, I was just out here... Guy? Yeah, I was just out here telling him to leave. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure, you know, he said that someone tried to use a taser on him. That was not me. Let's go! What do you think our next course of action should probably be? Nine one one emergency. Hi, ma'am. Uh, my name is Shannon. I'm standing on the sidewalk over here next to this lit smoking supply. I can give you the address in a minute. I'm taking photographs from the sidewalk, and the security guy, or not security guy, but the employee didn't like it. He went into his car and pulled out a taser, uh, or I'm sorry, a stun gun, and then walked toward me and zapped it and, and told me, let's go, and then he flipped me off. Because uh, he doesn't like that I'm on the sidewalk taking pictures, so I would. Uh, I think that's a, against the law to do that. To, if I'm still from what I've seen before, I believe that's okay. Fine. So he hit you with the stun gun? No, he didn't hit me with it. He just he just tased it like he he engaged it where it zapped a couple of times and he you know. Okay, and this was how long ago, sir? One um, one minute, two minutes. Okay, so you need to get away from there. You're going to have to make a report with an officer. Okay. All right. Well, uh, officer can meet me uh, here. I don't mind being here. I'm not too No, old. you're not going to. No, they ask that you don't stay where there's confrontation or um, could be violence. Uh, they want you to go two to three blocks down the street there and wait for them. Okay. So how about the Wells Fargo across the street? What's the address, sir? Uh, the Wells Fargo? Right. Yeah, you, the you didn't give me the address of the other place, so... Well, I, well, I'm asking what address you want, because you just said, what's the address, and I wasn't sure which address you're asking for. The Wells yeah, Fargo they address. they need the Wells Fargo, so just okay, tell... I, I need to look it up. Hold on, man, because you're telling me to go somewhere where I'm not current. Hold on. So is it on San Pedro, or do you know where it's at? Uh, I can... Well, it's across the street from where the lit, the lit place is at 2525 San Pedro Drive. And the Wells Fargo is directly across the street from that. And it's called the Lit Place. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, no. It's the, the name of the business is called Lit Smoking Supplies. Okay, I'll go across the street. Per your instructions. Yep. They want you away from there. What's your name? That makes sense. My name is Shannon. Okay, so you were just standing on the sidewalk taking pictures. Of the business, yeah, he, is he that right? Out, I was taking pictures of a lot of things, but he came out and told me that I had to leave the area and I can't be there, and I told him I'm going to sit here and take pictures if I want to, if I'm on a sidewalk. And he didn't like it, and then he told me he's going to call his security, uh, and then he went into his car and pulled out a uh, stun gun, walked towards me, zapped it a couple times, and told me, let's go, bitch. And then he walked toward the uh, the building itself, and then he uh, flipped me off. Um and it's all on camera. It's all recorded. So 
Okay, you sure it's a Wells Fargo bank? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm looking directly at it. Yeah, we have the locations, and I'm not seeing this one. Do you know what the cross street is? Uh, I can walk up here. Hold on. Were you able to find the, the address, the list, the 2525 San Pedro Drive? Yeah, that that one pulled up, but not the what? other one, not the Wells Fargo. Really? Is it a Bank of the West, maybe, sir? No, it's... it's it's Wells Fargo. It's, I'm okay. right, literally looking right at it like it's Wells Fargo. I'll give you the intersection. How about that? Okay. Uh, San Pedro Drive. Uh-huh. And uh, hold on. Keep the address would be sufficient, but uh, hold on. What's your callback number, sir? Four seven nine three one three nine nine six seven. Okay, you're gonna be in a car or on foot. I'll be on foot. Manal Boulevard, it looks like according to Google Maps here. So M A N U A L Boulevard, Northeast. All right, they'll get someone out to you. You said you're gonna be on foot. Is that right? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. The motorcycle just drove by. Okay, you're gonna be on foot or in a vehicle, sir. I can't hear you, ma'am. Please say that one more time, ma'am. Ma'am? Okay, sir, I don't know you're going to need to probably try to cut the, the phone there. I said, are you on foot or in a vehicle, sir? I'm on foot. Okay, they need a description. White, Native American, black, Hispanic. I'm black. I got camo pants on, black jacket, carrying a camera. Okay, and how old are you there, sir? On a tripod. 40, 40, uh, 48. Thin, medium, heavy built? Uh, medium, but sexy. Okay, wait there for him. If the guy comes across the street, you need Albuquerque Police, number 6769. How can I help you? Hi, ma'am. I called at 619 regarding a menacing that happened with a stun gun and... That officer was supposed to meet me at Wells Fargo. It's cold. I've been out here patiently waiting, and nobody showed up. Is there any ETA here? So you don't need paramedics or anything like that, correct? I don't need paramedics. Okay. As of right now, the call for service is still pending. I don't have an ETA. It will just be whenever an officer is available. Is there another way to go about this? Should I just come to the police station or something? Um, so these type of reports do require you to make contact with an officer if it's involving like an assault, some type of weapon. Right, so I can come there and make contact with an officer? So you're going to need to make contact with there are no officers at a substation? You're not able to make contact at a substation? So you're welcome to wait at a substation. If you're wanting to do it there, you would have to give us a call back. When you're at a substation, we can kind of set up another call for service. But the officers do not wait at the substations. They're out responding to calls. Okay, so just just wait here with just till it happens, huh? That's correct. Well, uh, I'll wait a little bit longer, but, I mean, I can't wait here hour after hour. It's already almost an hour, and I'm in the cold standing here. And somebody just menaced me with a stun gun. So, okay. I mean, it's... I don't know why it's taking so long. So as of right now, right, as of right now, we still have calls that we haven't responded to since about three o'clock. So there is going to be a delay. How long do you think it's going to be? Do you have an idea? Just like whenever. Like how backed up you are. It's just whenever an officer is available. You don't have any idea. No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. So we're gonna make Open one last call. Police operator two four four nine. Now can I help you? Hi, ma'am. My name is Shannon. I was waiting for an officer to show up to the Wells Fargo regarding a report that I was going to file for somebody menacing with a stun, stun gun. It's getting cold. I've been out here since a little after 6. I, I can't keep waiting. So I'm just out of courtesy, um, even though I'm not getting any courtesy, but out of courtesy, I'm just letting you guys know I'm not going to keep waiting there. I'll try to file it online and submit it directly to the prosecutor. Okay, uh, <clears throat> it was an assault with a stun gun. You can't make it online. It won't accept it. So, I mean, if you want to call back tomorrow uh, and try to make it then, you can do so, but uh, you won't be able to make it online, sir. 
And, and if I go to a substation, I have to wait for an officer to show up there as well, correct? Well, yeah, they won't take the report at a substation, but you can wait at one for the officer to be dispatched out to you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If I went to a yeah, substation, you'll, you'll have to wait. I yes, would have sir. to wait for an officer to make it to the substation, right? Yes, sir. That's correct. Right. That's, and then it'd probably be back to square one for me. Right. So. Did you get any information on him, like the person that uh, threatened I you? I recorded like... the whole event. I recorded it. Okay. I, cause but I, did that's you why get like passed, a... So I... I'm sorry, go ahead, man. A plate number or anything? Was he driving? No, he's an employee. He's an employee at a store. Oh, okay. He's an employee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then he didn't like that I was videotaping, and that's why he he did what he did. And so everything's recorded, literally, okay. like, well, before I got there, during the situation, after every, 100% of it's recorded. Okay, so, well, I, I can, uh, you know, cancel the call, and you can call back tomorrow if you like. I understand it's No, actually, cold. I'm traveling. I won't mm -hmm. be able to, you know, I, mm -hmm. if I had a time I could meet an officer and an officer could call me, that would be great. But I, I just can't sit there in the cold. I'm freezing. I, I understand, sir. I mean, are you, I could send you to your hotel room later if you like. Can you just have an officer call me when they're available? Can we make we meet, we meet up then? Well, no, they don't do it like that, sir. You, you have to basically just wait. Uh, for an officer, I could send them to a new location, but uh, they won't call you to make a report. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, if we get another location here, we're actually in an RV. If I get another location, I'll call back, and if not, then I'll just, you know, I guess let the person get away with it. All right, sir. Um, I'll go ahead and cancel it uh, for now, sir. I apologize, and if you want to call back, we'll, we'll be here later also, okay? Oh, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Hey, Shannon. This is Officer Babcock of APD. Uh, what was your name again? Officer what? Uh, Babcock. Ba Babcock? No, Babcock. Babcock. Okay. Hey, how you doing, officer? I'm good, man. How are you? Um, I'm okay. I was waiting out there for about an hour and a half, and I just left because I was freezing. Yeah, I get and, you, uh, man. We're, we're traveling and everything, and I just, you know, it didn't seem like I was going to get any anywhere just waiting there. So I called back and actually told the non-emergency lady that I would not be there. Okay. And I asked, can, I, can she have an officer call me? She said, no, we don't, it doesn't really work that way. So I just hit the road, and I figured I would send a video of the incident to the uh, prosecutor. And then if they want me to come back after I get done, uh, with my my visit that I'm doing up in Denver, then I could come back do, down. But here's what happens, just so you understand, and we're on the same page. Okay. I was on the I was I, I go around and I film stuff. I, I'm a journalist. I was working on something. I was on the sidewalk, recording outside of that vape shop or whatever that place is. Are you familiar with the original address? Is it the one like kind of across the street from the bank, a little bit to the south? Literally, yeah, yeah. That, okay. That glitter, yeah. That looks all glittery and stuff. Yeah, I've seen that. And the guy, like. the guy comes out. I don't know his name, but this, uh, I assume it was an employee. He comes out and he uh, tells me that I, I need to leave and he doesn't want me recording him. And I said, man, if you didn't want to be recorded, you probably shouldn't have came out and walked up to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm recording. That's what I do. I'm going to keep recording. I didn't come. Uh, didn't cuss at him. Nothing like that. And. uh he, he, he said he's going to call a security guy and uh, that I need to get out of there. Like, he, that's what he said. I said, no, I'm not leaving. He literally walked to his car. It's like a little SUV right there. And, he, and he's digging around in there. And then he comes out and he has a, a stun gun in his hand. And he engages it a couple times, like zaps it. You can hear the, you know, the electricity. Yeah. And he says, it's on, bitch. And then he walks toward the door, and then he slips me off. He, he holds up both of his middle fingers. And I and I look at him and say, you, you realize what you just did is a crime. Like, you, you can't do that. Like, that's menacing. Like, you, you're menacing a weapon at me. And, uh, and, and then I called the police, and I said, what happened? And then they told me to go across the street. They said, you got me. You got to get away from them. There could be an incident, uh, violence or whatever. They're like, we don't want you anywhere around there. The, the only way the police are going to respond is if you if you leave the scene and meet them somewhere else. So I said, okay, fine. 
I meet him across the street, and I went over there to the Wells Fargo parking lot to wait for you guys. And uh, that's that's the incident. I, I have every every second of the whole thing recorded from the moment I, I mean, well before I even was even at, at that property to well after. So every moment's documented on multiple cameras. Okay, well, that's and, good. Uh, this guy, this guy just didn't like being recorded. And he felt it'd be a good idea to to let me know that he means business by doing what he did with his uh, stun gun there. Are you able to send me any of the snippets of it or anything to this phone number? Oh, absolutely I can. Yeah, that'd be absolutely. awesome if you could, man. I can send you as much of the video as you want. I can see, like, the whole thing. So you can see every word that was said, the, every every motion. Like, you'll see everything and understand. Because he's probably going to go wise and fear for my safety. I don't know what the guy's going to How he's going to try to sell it and justify it. But I can assure you. I didn't say anything threatening or do anything threatening to the guy. So what he did was literally a crime. Yeah, what did like the guy... He literally was a crime. What did the guy look uh, like? I mean, I'll be honest with you. It was a, it's a little dark, and, and I wasn't... I didn't approach him. Like, I didn't get too close to him. But... Because I, I stayed on the sidewalk the entire time. But um, he, he, he seemed like he was in his, like, maybe mid-20s and either Hispanic or some other race similar to that. Okay. That's what I got. And he did seem like an employee of that place. He did, because he did seem like he was went in and out. Like he, he seemed like he was dressed like the other guys. Like They kind of buzzed around there a little bit. Like It didn't seem like a customer. Okay. It just came there and left. It seemed like he was there. Could you and, uh, tell? Uh, could you see what he was wearing? Like what color pants or shirt or anything? I don't recall it off the top of my head, but man, I tell you, all I got to do is look at that video, and you you see everything. Okay, and then so, I think it was like a darker. I think it was like a gray shirt and darker pants, but I can't say that hundred percent sure, uh, Officer Bank. I, I don't. I don't know. Okay, that's no problem, man. I just uh, it's always good to get first hand information as well as the I video. Can, I can send you I can send you a video ASAP if you want to like look into it right now. Yeah, I mean I'm here like, man, I'm, like, I'm in Santa Fe right now but oh, okay. I can send you the video. Yeah, I mean you, I I'm, you... I'm here at the bank man. I, I'm sorry about the delay. It's just always unfortunately busy and calls just have to hold. It's just unfortunately the nature of it right now. Yeah. Um, if they weren't able to give me an ETA I, I was gonna work with that or the, if they were able to have an officer call me I was gonna stick around but they're like they don't do it that way. So I told the lady, I said, you know what? I'll just I called back and just said cancel it and I'll I'll deal with it, you know, to bring an email and then if I, if I have to come back um, down through Albuquerque I will. You know, and, and she said, Okay, well sorry, nobody made so I did call back. I didn't you know, just walk off. No, I mean not that it would matter, but I'm, I'm just letting you. you know that that that's what the situation was. Yeah, I got you, man. Um, I would like to send you this video. Can you give me an email or something, and I'll I'll go back and uh, take that snippet off of my camera and send it to you in the next few minutes. Yeah, are you able to just send it like as a text into my, the this phone number? Um, or does it have to be email? Yeah, I would have to trim it down because it's yeah. I I can trim down the relevant part. Uh, it might take me more than a few minutes, but I'll I'll do it as fast as I can because I got to download the video into my computer, and then I got to snip it, that part of it out to make it small enough to send me a text. Okay, yeah. That's so I can record that's... on a cell phone. I, I'm a photographer. I actually have Nikon equipment and gimbals, and like it's, it's it wasn't recorded on the phone. Okay, yeah, that's no problem, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll hang out and wait for it. Um, Just real quick, you see, what kind of car did the guy go to? It, it's, man, don't quote me 100%, but I think it was like a, it looked like some some type of a small SUV. Like it was like a, I think it was like a dark gray, but I'm not 100% sure because once again, I didn't walk onto their property. So I, I wasn't real close to it. Okay, but you, you saw know? him like but go was, into the car? Like, I think it was like a smaller style SUV. Like the smaller version of an SUV. Okay, and you saw him like walk up to the car and like go inside of it, right? Yeah, he walked around into the, the side further from me and opened up the door, right, raffled, rifled through some stuff, um, and then he closed the door and then he 
came back around the car and he zapped it as he he didn't like walk real close to me but as he was walking towards me still at a distance he, he zapped it a couple times and was like it's on bitch and then then he walked up to the doorway of the smoke shop and he, he, he stuck up two middle fingers okay and then that's when I said you know what you did is a crime like you you, you know I want to call the cops and and then I, I literally called the police right then, and then the police told me to go go away from there. Yeah. And I, and I said, well, okay, you know, if that's what you want me to do, no problem. And I w- walked across the street, and uh, and that's that's how it kind of uh, ended. But I okay. think the guy still was watching me from when I was across the street. I can't tell it was the same guy or not, but I think it was for quite a while, which further makes me believe that he works there. Yeah. Um, how about how far away was he when he, like, zapped the taser at you? Can you just give me, like, an estimate? Uh, the stun gun, uh, when he zapped it, I would say maybe 20 feet. Okay. 15 to 20 feet. Gotcha. Did you, what do you think he was going to do with the taser? Uh, with the stun gun? Yeah. Um, what did I think he was going to do? Yes. Um tase me or stun me possibly i mean when he when he when he did it he snapped it and he said it's on bitch i mean i mean you never know yeah it's hard to say i mean why did he do it in the first place we weren't in a heated argument or anything he just literally did it and it was kind of a surprise when he when he popped around the corner with it and zapped it a couple times like he did i didn't i honestly didn't see it coming like i didn't expect him to do something like that, you know. Yeah, we no, I don't, I don't blame we you, man. Threatening each other or fighting or I'll mess you up. I'll, it was none of that. Like he, he told me to stop recording. I told him no. I'm going to record. I'm on a sidewalk. There's nothing that I'm doing that's wrong. And he told me to get out of there. He didn't like it. He's going to call the security. His security guard. And that. And then it was. And then it was quiet. There was no more dialogue for a while. And and then he went and got the stun gun. Came out and zapped it as he kind of walked towards me, but he didn't get real close to me, and he and he zapped it twice, and he said, it's on, bitch. Like, he yelled it. Okay. <laughs> and then, it... He, then he walked toward the front and flipped me off. Okay, yeah. Um, and so, if, am I able to identify this guy? Were you willing to press charges against him? Sure, absolutely. Okay, sounds good, man. Uh, Shannon, what's yeah, your I was, plan- I was planning to send the, uh, the video to the prosecutor in the morning. You know, because um, I know I don't know how it works if I'm not physically there, which I obviously I tried to be physically there, but I didn't know how it was going to work out. And I have a place I have to be at. So yeah, no, it's, I was that's why I'm calling you, man. I'm still able to handle it, even if you're not physically here right now. I, I can still take care of it because of the time delay. Awesome. Stuff. Well. Stay live because what do you think our next course of action should probably be? Uh, so after. Uh, receiving all that information uh, I mean I, I would think you'd have to just write the report after that but so obviously I kind of gave you the answers are there, are there charges present the uh okay the uh aggravated assault and battery do you think we have charges right now uh once you receive the video right no even without well, that says, uh, like I said I already gave the answer so it's yes Andy we'll talk more about it when we're off so at this point we have chargers, right? We have some kind of chargers. Obviously, our victim isn't here. We two fived him. That's fine. We'll talk more about that too. What else do we need to do to charge somebody? Uh, I'll need a reminder on that part. Yeah, I know who they are, right? If I DM. Right. Right. That's the big thing. And you also want to talk to him too. You want to go up and ask him, like, what happened, man? And then, because he could have some some complete different story. That's like, well, this dude showed up and was like pointing stuff at me, screaming, yelling at me. I mean. Yeah, he has videos. He's gonna send it to us, so it's probably gonna negate anything else because that's an, an impartial third um, witness or impartial third party, technically, the video. But um, you know, you always want to get the everybody's side of the story. Right. Yeah, because this guy could, if we identify this guy, talk to him, figure out who he is, he could tell us something. It's like, well, okay, that makes sense. Maybe why he acted the way he did. This guy right. took it as a threat. The other person was like, no, I was, you know, something happened, and I was, was trying to defend him. Whatever, because it can happen, right? Um, so to keep it simple for now, and then like I said, I'll go off in a minute, and we'll talk about it more, but we want to go see if A, there's anybody at the shop still, and see if that car's there, right? Because maybe if the car's there, 
what do you think we could do with the car, maybe? Or a car oh, that matches uh, the description. You could, uh, look up the plate. Yeah, run the plate, get a name. I mean, look at the picture. Maybe just have something to go off of. Some kind of suspect, right? Something. Um... So like yeah. If there wasn't a vehicle, what would you do at that point? So we'll go over there if it's closed. I mean, that's the one thing that sucks about Graveyard, and obviously this happened a few hours ago, the guy waited, is there's a chance, yeah, there's nobody there. Um, is that one? Yeah. You know, there's a chance that nobody's there. There's a chance that, you know, we're not going to identify anybody, and that sucks. Sometimes it's all you can do at times. You know, you have to chalk it up as that. But it looks like people are there, so... Yeah. We're gonna go talk to him, so when we get out and stop, make sure you go live. Right. When we get there, just because we're on the phone. Um, that's the reason I didn't go off, is because SOP and you know attorneys and stuff, supervisors, the department just likes to have, if you can, just one non-stop long video. Right, just one complete video. If it's an, three hours long and half of it's you sitting in your car typing, just do it. You know what, that's, that's their problem if they wanna watch it. So that's why, like this, you talk to them, you're gonna go two, five, the people. Um, you know, stay alive, and that's why I'm still alive. Big thing, too, is we're at a different location than on the call, right? That's, yeah, that's what I noticed. So we're going to, because well, that's where we're logged at, but we're going to go to this 2525 San Pedro. So you always want to make sure you update your location with dispatch. So what we're going to do is there's two ways to do it. One can be you can get on the radio and tell DP, update me to this location. Since we're in the car, I'm just going to do it real quick because it's also listed on the CAD, and it's across the street. So I'm just going to update our location to here and then we'll go in in 25. So how do you uh, do that? So uh, would you have to message dispatch for that? Or? No, you can do it yourself. Um, I'll talk more about that too. Just remind me to make sure I bring that up. Okay. So, so far, do you notice anything that may be in play? Any car that may match whatever? It's a gray. Yeah, a little SUV. I mean, I don't know. It's a big black SUV. Was it a, was it a dark gray or what, light gray? He said just gray. Gray? Cause there's that gray SUV. So the small dark gray SUV. No, it's silver, but I don't know. It's still gray. Yeah. So this is kind of stuff to look at. So when you want to update your location real quick, so you, always, you can click this F7 button, update location. And then oh. you actually just update locations. So you just type oh. in the address. Make sure it comes up with the prompts. So that means it's going to register. Cool. You can add comments too. You can put like your offenders 20, offender location, um, scene, um, secondary scene, whatever you want, you think you need to put. Okay. So you click send, it'll put you in route, since we're here to say 5-6. Yeah, okay. So we'll go in. So now if we call for 82 or something happens, we'll dispatch will know where we're at. That's a big safe, officer safety thing, is always update your location. Like I said, we'll talk more about that. Let's go in and talk to anybody, see if they have any idea what happens. Yeah, so maybe I might have to wait for his his thing. So make sure you go live. Yeah. Okay. What's, What's going on, man? Do you work here? Yes, sir. Do you know if anybody had an issue with a guy outside earlier, like videotaping or taking pictures or something? You said it might have been an employee. Hey, what? Do you or anybody working here? Involved with like some kind of issue with some guy outside a couple hours ago like videotaping or taking pictures on the sidewalk Uh, No, not with us. There was <clears throat> we had a customer come in And he said there was someone following him or something da 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 and he came in and he was like da 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 We looked and we're like what the hell and then he stood out here for a while He was on the phone for the longest just sitting outside and he would come back in and tell us that he's still out there And then there was a guy standing there like recording and he would come over here on this side and like record from this angle Okay, so there was a dude out there recording and then another guy yeah, some other guy, yeah, he, he was... So it wasn't an employer or anything? It wasn't an employer. Is it just you working? Or no, there's another guy? Two, okay. Two, right just you two guys uh, working? Yeah. You know who the other um, other customer was? Do you, have you seen him no, before? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen him before. He was just like a like a cowboy-ish kind of guy. Okay. The guy that came in and told us about the guy recording. Oh, yeah. He was like... Yeah, some white dude. Some, like, crazy. Some, like, white dude. Okay. Yeah, he's a white guy, yeah. yeah he's a <laughs> You said he was like a cowboy. Is he wearing like cowboy boots and hat um, and stuff? I think he had the cowboy boots. Or I don't know about the cowboy boots, but he had like the belt. The big belt, the belt buckle. buckle. And his pants was tucked in, dress shirt, like button up dress shirt. Okay. He's not here anymore, is he? No. Did you see, kind of see, was he, he in a car? He was posted across the street. Yeah, the guy like, recording when he went across the bank and was he's with a him. Shot, but okay. he's a our shot. the other guy, um, he even called. He called us and he was like, is that guy still there? Like, he asked us about the guy outside. 
Yeah, we were like. Was he on foot or in the car? The the customer, the one that came in, was he walking he was or was he in the car? Yeah, he was okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. same in the car, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say use it for a while too. And like when people go over, yeah. ask what you're doing here, say something you're concerned. Well, did you guys kind of see what happened between him and the dude recording? He just came in, kind of scared, shaking. He's like, "Yeah, hey, there's somebody following me." Okay. Yeah, and I told him, yeah, I was just staying here for a second. You, do you have that number he called from by chance? I don't. I don't know how to look through the history okay. on the, the call phones. I don't know how to use those. Okay, I got you. All right, cool. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Sir, of course. Me too. Hey, what's going on, man? Do you work here? Okay. Did, were, were you involved? Did you get, uh, were you present? I guess there's some issue earlier with like a guy recording and like another customer or something. Did you see any of that or hear anything about that? Like yeah. An hour or two ago? Uh, I, can't, I came earlier and told him to leave. Um, he's been recording. He's been up to other places just recording them. Uh, he was over at the Wells Fargo recording the building for no reason. Okay. So, um, so it was you, okay, so it was you yeah, I was interacting just out with this here, guy? Yeah, I was just out here telling him to leave. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure, you know, he said that someone tried to use a taser on him. That was not me. Why would you say that? I don't know. That's what he was on the phone with. Oh, okay. He was saying something like so that. So what happened between, so he just had a recording and you told him yeah. to leave? And, and then he started getting all aggressive, saying, I can be here, I have rights. And I'm like, yeah, you do. But this is private property, you know, it's a private business, so. Okay. Did you, did anything escalate or anything happen after that? No. Did you guys exchange words or anything or no. get close to one another or anything like that? I stayed my distance. Okay. Went, you... inside, went inside, I actually came out the back door and um, he went up across the street, so. Okay, and I'm sorry, do you work here or are you just a customer? No, I work here. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, do you have your ID on you, sir? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Have you ever seen that guy before? Nope. First time. Um. And what's a good phone number for you, Matthew? Uh, 505-688-6119. And is the landman address still a good one for you? Uh, it's my grandmother's, but yeah. Did you still get mail there? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, man. Well, there's that back for you. Okay, anything else about that? Um, no. Well, let me know um, I had other, you know, other witnesses saying that, you know, he's been taking video and they didn't want to be videoed as well. I mean, none of, uh, none of our customers want to be. Yeah. No, they're I mean, here to get certain stuff sure, and get out. Take off. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, they're in there for specific things that I'm not going to say. It's their business. Yeah. But, you know, when they come out, they don't want to be filmed. Okay. Um, Have you seen that guy since he came back out? All right, man. Well, that's all I have. I appreciate you talking to me. you have any questions mm -hmm. for me? No. I've been around, you know, doing DoorDash, so. Mm. Okay. Kind of get crazy enough with that stuff, huh? So much of it. <laughs> all right, man. I appreciate it. Uh, so I just have to identify, like, because they said that there was a car that someone was driving. So I just have to, I have to do a report for this. So I got to identify who I talked to who was involved and in, like cars involved and everything. Just trying to yeah. be as comprehensive as possible. So that's all. I'm just trying to do the most complete police report I can. Well, um, I, I went. I wasn't like following him. I just went up by the mall over here on the other side of the Wells Fargo, get my DoorDash started. Okay. Yeah, and if he comes back, man, try your best to avoid and let us know. Let's come I'm out and deal home, with him. So. Okay, sounds good. But in the future, if he comes back or anything, All right. do you just do DoorDash normally? or I work. Do both? Okay, gotcha. I work here during the day. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's all, man. Like I said, just got to make sure. But make sure to call us if he comes back just to avoid any other all issues right, or anything like that with him. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Well, thank you. Do you 
work here? Yes, sir. Do you know if anybody had an issue with the guy said earlier, like videotaping and taking pictures or something? He said it might have been an employee. Hey, what? Do you or anybody working here involved with like some kind of issue with some guy outside of the bar, like videotaping and taking pictures on the sidewalk? Uh, no, not with us. There was <clears throat> we had a customer come in, and he said there was someone following him or something. Da da da. He came in and he was like da da da. We looked. We we're like what the hell? And then he stood out here for a while. He was on the phone for the longest, just sitting outside. And he would come back in and tell us that he's still out there. And then there was a guy standing there like recording, and he would come over here on this side and like record from this angle. Okay, so there was dude at the recording oh, yeah. and another yeah. guy. Yeah, some other guy. Yeah, he, he was. So a, wasn't an employee. Yeah, it wasn't an employee. Is it just working? Right? No, there's yeah, no, that's two right here. Okay, yeah. 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 You know who the other um, other customer was? You, have you seen him no, before? I'm, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen him before. He was just like a like a cowboyish kind of guy. Okay. The guy that came in and told us about the guy recording. Oh yeah, he's like yeah, that. some white, some like crazy, some white guy. Yeah, he's, he's a white guy. Yeah, he's on a blend. You said he was like a cowboy, he wearing like cowboy boots and hat um, and stuff? I think he had the cowboy boots, or I don't know about the cowboy boots, but he had like the belt, the belt, the belt buckle, and his pants was tucked in, dress shirt, like button up dress shirt. Okay. He's not here anymore, is he? No. Did no. you see Fancy? Was he, he, was, uh, he was posted across the street. Yeah, the guy uh, recording when he you know, went across the bank and was with him. He's at his shop. Okay. The other guy, um, he even called. He called us and he was like, is that guy still there? Like, he asked us about the guy he outside. Yeah, we were like... Was he on foot or in the car, the, the customer, the one that came in? Was he walking or was he in the car? Yeah, was he on foot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was the user for a while, too. And, like, when people would go over and ask what you do here and say something you're concerned. Would you guys kind of see what happened between him and that dude recording? He just came in, kind of scared, shaking, and he was like, hey, somebody following me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, I was just staying here for a second. Do you, you have that number you called from by chance? I don't. I don't know how to look through the history okay. on the uh, call phones. I don't know how to use those. Okay, I got you. All right, cool. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Do you work here? Okay. Were, were you involved? Did you get, uh, were you present? I guess there was some issue earlier with like a guy recording and like another customer or something. Did you see any of that or hear anything about that? Yeah. Or two of them? Uh, I can't. I came earlier and told him to leave. Um, he's been recording. He's been up to other places just recording them. Uh, he was over at the Wells Fargo recording the building for no reason. Okay. So, um, so it was you, okay, so it was you yeah, I was interacting just out with this here. guy? Yeah, I was just out here telling him to leave. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure you know, he said that someone tried to use a taser on him. I was not. Why would you say that? I don't know. That's what he was on the phone with. Oh, uh, okay. He was saying something like so that. So what happened between, so he just had a recording and he told yeah. you? Yeah, and then he started getting all aggressive saying, I can be here, I have rights. And I'm like, yeah, you do, but this is private property. You know, it's a private business, so. Did you did anything escalate or anything happen after that? No. Did you guys exchange words or anything or no. get close to one another or anything like that? I stayed my distance. Okay. Went you, inside went inside. I actually came out the back door and um, he went over across the street. So Okay, I'm sorry, do you work here or are you just a customer? No, I work here. Oh, okay. Okay. Um Do you have your idea on you, sir? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that guy before? Nope. First time. Um. And what's a good phone number for you, Matthew? Uh, five. I'll get that back for you. Okay. Anything else about that? Um, no. Um, I had other, you know, other witnesses saying that you know he's been taking video and they didn't want to be video as well. I mean, None of uh, none of our customers want to be. Yeah, no, they're I mean, here to get certain stuff sure. and get out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you know they're in there for specific things that I'm not gonna say it's their business, yeah. but you know when they come out they don't want to be filmed. Okay. 
Uh, have you seen that guy since? He came back out? Alright, man. Well, that's all I have. I appreciate you talking to me. Have any questions mm -hmm. for me? No. I've been around, you know, doing DoorDash, so. Okay. Kinda get crazy enough with that stuff, huh? <laughs> so much of it. Alright, man. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. You too, girl. So I just have to identify, like, because they said that there was a car that someone was driving. So I just have to, I have to do a report for this. So I got to identify who I talked to was involved and like cars involved and everything. Just trying yeah. to be as comprehensive as possible. So that's all. I'm just trying to do the most complete police report I can. Well, I, I went. I wasn't like following him. I just went up by the mall over here on the other side of the Wells Fargo, get my DoorDash started. And, yeah, and if he comes back, man, show your best to avoid him, let us know. Let's I'm going home, so. Okay. Um, but in the future, if he comes back or anything. All right. Do you just do DoorDash normally? or I work. Do both? Okay, gotcha. I work here during the day. Gotcha. So. Okay. Yeah, that's all, man. Like I said, just got to make sure. But make sure to call us if he comes back just to avoid any other All right, I'll let you know. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. 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 Thank you.